15 on uh, gameplay here. One apple, two apples, 18 apples. That's his wife. She seems level headed. Not now. Not now, but then when? Welcome in car. I understand my chair. I hope you are being treated well. <laughs> well he really is Goliath a Goliath has always opened its doors to those who need shelter. But these are hard times, and war grows suspicions. As for me, I think the free people should work together in this war with the elves. Will I have trouble here? It will mostly be talk. People gossip about incomers. If you want the people here to trust you, then help them. Help, Once yeah. they do, they will open their doors to you. You will have a place to stay. A chance to become one of us. And they will likely reward you for your trouble. We berserkers believe in second chances. It's your choice whether you take that chance or not. Who are you? Who are you? I am Cormag, warlord of the Hammer Clan. Each of the clans has its own calling, mm -hmm. and ours is magic. A gift given to us in our time of need. Proof that this planet I needed a guardian. Like and that it chose us. We can channel power through our bodies and battle the machines of the clerics. The power mana gives us seems limitless. And yet, it seems so normal now, doesn't it? It's hard to remember that magic is only a generation old. Mm. We have only just started our study of it. And the Hammer Clan has made that study our purpose. What's your loss? What do you think about your laws? Our laws bind us. They tell us who we are, how we interpret them. That is where we can do better. Death and exile shouldn't be the only sentences. There should be reward in repentance. Leniency could save us valuable people. Hmm. You think you're, you think other berserkers too harsh? You think other berserkers are too harsh? Are they? Dedicated, not harsh. And you sometimes dedication can blind us to other ways of thinking. <gasps> Just imagine, if we berserkers could enhance the cleric's energy weapons, or the outlaw's explosives with the power of mana, who could stop us then? Oh, no. Now, Angram would say that giving into technology would destroy us. Power of mana! I wonder whether holding on to the laws too tightly would do the same. Yep. After all, there were those who tried to stop oh, using oh. magic. They said it was against nature. Now magic is all that defends it. Whatever my thoughts, the laws we have now are the ones we must follow. <laughs> Teach me something. Sure. Teach me day. the supplies. What can I do to help? She needs people to collect the food deliveries. I thought Angram had sent men to do that. The men he sent are dead. They were attacked by a troll. And mm -hmm. more will die if our men aren't fed. 
Still, if Angram is worried about sending men, then there must be a real danger. I will send men to help Sindra. But if they are to go out there, then I want to improve their odds of survival. We recently captured some movement detectors from the clerics. They're being stored in the pit, ready for the elix to be taken out of them. Get me one of those movement detectors, and I will give Cinder the help she wants. Isn't taking technology from the pit against the law? Sometimes, laws must be broken for problems to be fixed. Get me that detector, and I will help Cinder. Those are my terms. Mm -hmm. I have the movement detector you wanted. Excellent work. Excellent. Now my men stand a chance of seeing danger before they walk into it. Tell Cinder she can count on the support of the Hammer Clan. I will tell the men to be ready. Are there problems between the clans? Yeah, right. Give any group a name and they'll use it as a cause for argument with others. But while there are always differences, we are all berserkers. Anyone who forgets that needs a swift reminder of their true allegiance. You have traitors here? You have traitors here? Not traitors. Troublemakers. People whose mouths move faster than their minds. You think we should use the law to silence anyone who thinks differently? I say they need to be convinced that our cause is best served if we work together. I've been saying that over and over, but it seems some people have stopped listening. Sure, why not? Maybe they would listen to me. Perhaps. You could do me a favor and talk to Elder. He He's been speaking out against the Ison clan. But I'm not sure of the reason behind his anger. You will find him living with the other cultivators down in the cultivator house. I'd be grateful if you can find out the reason he's upset before this bad feeling escalates into something else. to rest, you should find yourself a spot and relax. And if you are hungry, we can surely find you something to eat. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. I hope you have been shown kindness here. To foreigners, it may seem that we only live in a manner that is in accordance with the law. But we have a place for any wanderers and lost souls who are ready to swear off their old lives. So, Wherever you came from, your help is welcome. What's the point in us seeking to rebuild the world if we continue fighting? We need to build one world, together. I hope you can see that. How long have you been with the Berserkers? I was born here, <laughs> and I can't imagine a better place. So what's good about it? Come on, don't. What's so good about it? As Eisenfaust said, of all the places and all the people in Magaland, the planet chose us to give magic to. And Eisenfaust wasn't exactly known for his poetic side. With respect for all his great feats, he was a bit of a miserable bastard, to be honest. We have organized our lives around the essential things in life. You do not need everything you think you need. I could get used to life here. <laughs> good, good. I would wish that for you. You will find safety here and purpose. Ragnar will help you find your place. Sure, he, he can sound severe, I know, I but there are pressures on him, and he wants the best for us. What is this building? What is this building? A rare relic of the old world, hey? If you want, go up to one of the higher balconies and have a look at the view. 
You will get an idea how beautiful it must have been here before the comet struck. It seems the people of the old world understood the value of that even back before the Great Fall. Mm -hmm. Why do you build these huts then? This place might be a good choice for defense, but it doesn't exactly connect us with nature. We all need to be rooted in the natural world. We all need to remember our place in it. You, me, all the people here, we are all part of Magalan. We are, huh? Tell, her Tell me about Ragnar. Ragnar the Fierce? Ragnar, son of Bajar? He is warlord of the Hooded Crows. Warlord, warrior, leader, and my husband. You're married? Why would I marry someone whose expression is that of thunder over the mountains? That is when he is carrying the weight of his clan. Then he is a warlord. I married the man. Hmm. How did Ragnar become warlord? Hard work, dedication, and popularity. Tell me the real story. Do you mean, is there a deep, dark secret? Is there? A tale of rivalry and assassination to rise to the top? No, I'm afraid it's a tale of skill, ability, and dedication. He was named Berserker when he was a teen, served his time in the fields as a cultivator. Hmm. He was seen defending the seedlings from mutants and was named Warrior on the spot. When he was a child, Ragnar met Eisenfaust, and I think that left its mark. He wanted to be that man. And he is, just with more of a sense of humor. In their hour of need, the Berserkers call for another Eisenfaust. And in Ragnar, I believe they have him. Bertram needs your help. Bertram? He's not run up another debt with Orin again, has he? Angram has discovered that Bertram is a cleric here in Goliath to recruit for Ignadon. And Bertram wants my help? First you let me down over the weapons, now you come here to ask my Wait, help with no treason? What made you think I would help you? Bertram said you would. He named me? He must be desperate. A caravan set out to transport a seedling. I'm sending more people to help with it. I can arrange for Bertram to go with them. He'll be beyond Angrim's reach, and we'll have an escort out of here. Wait here a moment. I've taken care of it. Bertram will be added to the list of guards. They'll leave shortly. Thank you. Don't thank me. All life is sacred, but this was a betrayal by him and by me. Is there something you need doing here? There are always things that need doing here, and helping out will gain you notice from promotion. Of course, for the highest ranks, we must all look to the warlords to be promoted. Ask hmm. in Goliath, and you'll find tasks to match your skills. But there is one thing I need help with. Though, I warn you, it could be dangerous. All right, huh? Tell me the task. I can handle it. Confident without the details. You'll get on well with the warriors here. Our scouts reported that a few clerics were recently attacked by mutants. Let's just say that despite all their technology, the clerics came off worse. But the weapons they left behind, lying about out there, are a problem. They could cause a great deal of damage in the wrong hands. I want you to collect them and take them to Yora. You'll find him at the pit. He and the workers there make sure such technology is made safe. I can't get the weapons. Someone else has taken them already. And from your expression, I can only assume that this unhappy circumstance has something to do with you. You're lucky it's me learning this. Angrim or even Ragnar wouldn't view that news well. Still, what is done is done, I suppose. Talk about it. I'm just telling you, man. Down on your tables. <laughs> An old coin. 
Dexterity, huh? I'm late. Fine, spoon. It's fine. I feel like cameras can catch up with that. I think I could just slam in the ground soon. Let's 
small human hands. Diary. Carl's diary. No sign of the man. But let's see if he has left me a clue in here. Last entry. First the elix devours him. Now it devours me. But I have no choice. Surely to steal is better than to kill. If I don't act now, then death must follow. So, the choice is made, and we must both go into the mausoleum. Perhaps we can live in this house of the dead. <laughs> Either this guy is reliving teenage poetry, or I just found out where he went. <laughs> I should tell Caldrum. Hilarious. There, that's a pack leader right there.
think there's a vice runner somewhere. Could be wrong. Uh, definitely gonna order my television next. Not that, uh, yeah. Get enough cash to, uh, reach my health and stamina. I took there, I hope I can afford it. Now you're all me. Got sticky fingers. Should roll the feet. Thank you. 
Yeah, I see. I don't think I go through there. No way. Should be in. Gary.
Let's head here first. Alright, explore this uh, hotel. I remember being some good items in here. I need that. Never know. I'll come to venture someday. <laughs> teeth. Mm -hmm. I always need to get a pair of teeth, you never know. Soft toilet paper. Yes, yeah, so I can sell this for a lot of money. <laughs> Appeal to some people, but I find it quite uh, quite fun. Oh uh, yeah, let's see here. What's the word? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Definitely feel like the old graphic games, which I, I tried to play earlier initially, but I can't seem to get to uh, play on my damn computer for some reason. I try. It. I'll try it again. See if I can, and see what we can do about that then. <laughs> oh, no. find some trainers now that teach me the things I want to learn, like, I don't know, everything else. <laughs> there were millions of people on this planet using technology that is You're lost crazy. to us now. You were being inefficient.
flyer. Oh, flyer. Stanway didn't come up here. Probably too dangerous. Probably worried about the thing might just collapse on him. Still, I'll probably at least some since some dude trying to clean this up somewhere. Oh, right there. Yeah, probably no point. the guy. Suppose I never will now. Hmm. Some increased current was always nice. in this dark room. Oh, alright then. For coming to us. Your application to Infinite Skies has been denied. No! No, you can't deny me that! I passed the test! Please, check the forms again! Please, check them! 
seen this a lot of people got denied. Come here, friend of you, Jack. You've been denied. Yeah, I finished that. It's no doubt, probably, it's probably during the time when they were trying to get off the planet. No doubt. They were trying to get off the planet. Here. Those four walls. There is so much pressure. Let's see here. I got our last mm. bottle of wine. Should we go up? It covered the taste. He didn't feel a thing. He wanted to die free. We couldn't do that underground. Taste the wine, Justin. We'll both drink deep. Sometimes the uh, save here puts me on weird spots. He didn't feel a thing. He wanted to die free. We couldn't do that underground. Taste the wine, Justin. We'll both drink deep. Go to the blacksmith area. Do it, think first. Think. About the cleric. You don't have to worry about that cleric preaching here. You found him? The cleric has left Goliath. I thought my instructions were clear. I wanted him dead. Now he'll run home with information on our numbers and our plans. Your moment of mercy might lead to more deaths. Great. Can't just lie to him, man. Say like, yeah, I kill him. I will. Huh, yeah, I kill him. I trick him. I trick him. I trick him. I him. On his guys. Shine on you. Ugh. 
Hey, there's someone there. This guy is too straightforward. I would lie to him. Lie to him? Yeah. Here from Angrim. I need to buy a laser weapon, the sort the clerics use. Well, there's a face I haven't seen before. Newcomer, aren't you? You have a problem with new faces? Problem? Yeah. Me? Yeah, problem. Oh, I never have problems, only solutions. And I reckon we can solve problems for each other. What problems? Of the financial kind. The kind where I've got money, I'm just looking to give away, and you have empty pockets to fill. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'll bet. You look like the listening kind. Except maybe being impaled up the unmentionables with a hot, rusty poker. But, and I'm getting to the point, here's me, right? A loyal and honest berserker. Someone who knows what's right, what's legal, and what's not. Then, there's a newcomer like you. Well, any newcomer has the potential to make honest mistakes when it comes to legalities. Mm. And if you did, then I, as an honest berserker, could help put such mistakes right in a way that earns us both elixir. Why should I trust you? Yeah. Because I'm a hooded crow. Not one of your rule-making Eisen clan. Not a wannabe hammer clan. I'm a good, honest, straight-talking, hooded crow. Clans? The hammer clan, the Eisen clan, and the clan of the hooded crows. That's your berserkers. Mm -hmm. So, if you were to get your hands on rare, legally questionable items, I could, being a loyal berserker, take that trouble off your hands. Rare items? Rare is where the Alexit is. Mm. You could spend your life dreaming of Alexit, or spend your Alexit living your dreams. Your choice. What items do you trade? Trade? No, no, that would be illegal. No, no, I don't trade. I run a sort of lottery. One where you pay me for a chance to win the item of your choice. I have to gamble. You could say that. But once you offer the right price, the odds are you'll always be a winner. I only have a limited selection. We are in Goliath, and the laws make a lot of items illegal. Well, you know what they say. One man's forbidden is another man's profit. Of course, as a loyal and honest berserker, you won't catch yeah. me saying things like that. You're looking for rare items. I help people with problems. Yeah, what the hell are you looking when for, someone man? discovers rare items that are legally questionable, I solve this problem without the need to take up the time of our busy uh. official authorities. No fuss, no overstretching our legal authorities. It's much better for everyone. And all for the right Sounds price. Really creepy, that voice. I just do as any <laughs> honest, loyal, law abiding, practical berserker should do. God. Teach me something. Teach me something. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Teach me something. Yeah, sure, why not? I I want to make a trade. Always happy to trade. Always happy to trade. Please cap. Bless the song buttons. <laughs> Pretty sure what you're doing. Oh wow.
All right, I'm about to cut this short here. Let's see here, let's try to make a extra potion, a small extra potion, liquor, and all that nonsense. I might uh, cut this short right here then. Let's see what time it is. About an hour or so. Alright. Boom. <laughs>